Today we're going to make a gripper strip frame. So I have four pieces of wood, two at 20 inches long and two at 18 and a half inches long. The longer pieces of wood will go on the outside of the inner so that this one will fit inside the middle of the two longer pieces of wood. And we're going to put some glue right in here and then we will screw in the sides. To start, I'm going to put holes in my board so it'll be easier to put the screws in when I'm ready to go. We're going to put this in your 20 inch board, the longer of your two boards. You hold up the board, the width of the board, this is what you're gonna go on the other side. So hold up the board and draw a line. And then this is just a random doorknob that I found in my junk drawer. You can buy them, I think they're only a dollar or two a piece. And it has a really sharp point on it, making it easy to go in the wood. So you just kind of estimate where you're gonna want it and you twist it into place. And you just screw it in a little bit just to start a hole. And then you'll go over here, a little bit over and do it again. And you're gonna wanna do that on both of your long boards on both sides, the same side. What worked the best for me is I put it through there a little bit and then I kind of propped it up here on the floor in between my legs. So now I'm going to attach other short board to this side. So I have already put my screw into the board enough to see it poke through the back. Apply wood glue. We're gonna line the boards up so they're straight. Push your screw in a little bit. Try to keep it still. And really hold them together because your one board's gonna be in a whip. And don't soft wood, so don't drill too far into the wood. And you will see that the wood will twist. See, it is no longer straight. There's an edge here. And that's fine because you don't have to put the screw in, so you can just straighten it out. Put your screw in the hole that you pre-drilled. I've had to pull this one up towards the drill to close the gap. So there's a little bit of gap. If you pull this up as you drill, it will bring it up. You're going to need a pair of tin snips. I'm going to cut this to fit in the inside. I won't put a corner in it. So I'm just gonna cut it this big. When putting your gripper strips on your wood frame, you're going to want to make sure your metal teeth are pointing down. So if you look at your gripper strip, they have an angle to them. These are going this way. So when you put it on your gripper strip, you wanna make sure that's pointing down the side so it can grab your fabric. There's about an eighth of an inch from the edge so your staple doesn't split your wood. So just barely see a little bit of a, the wood there. Then you're just gonna take your staple gun and staple it. And I would do one in the middle and then one on the side to kind of get it straightened out. So now I'm just gonna go through and really fill in the rest. It helps if you put some pressure on the top of the gun so it doesn't try and shoot back on you. And then from there, we're going to need to curve this over the side and staple it right there. This is where if you have an extra pair of hands and a pair of gloves, it would be optimal. Somebody could hold down this side and then place a staple. I don't have either right now, so I am going to try and make it work with the gripper strip. Gripper strip, push it down and then insert this clamp on top to kind of hold it in place. These clamps were 99 cents at Home Depot. Go ahead and use the frame, push up on the frame and down with your thumb to insert the staple. Push up and down with your thumb. And then remove the clamp to finish it off. If you have a second pair of hands, have them wear gloves, push it down with their thumbs and then insert the staple in the middle. 
It works much easier if you have somebody that can help you. 